Let's talk about Zika. O over a million cases suspected in Brazil. Okay, I knew right away that uh, this was not caused solely by a mosquito because they had so many cases so quickly. I said, that's sex. I'm glad the CDC agrees with me now. Sex is causing this. Okay, the mosquito might have been the start, but you don't get that. If it was that way, malaria would already be the thing that's killing everybody. So, uh, the over 30 countries have it right now to include the United States. Everybody that brought it back from the United States brought it back from South America. Do you notice any mosquitoes right now? No, we're winter, they're summer. Okay, so that's why they got bit, they brought it back. All the subsequent cases are set. Uh, what we know about it, it causes, now th these are links, and what, what they say is, uh, what's causing all these babies with small heads? They test all the mothers, they all had Zika virus. So they don't know for sure if it's causing it, but when you have a tenfold increase of a very rare disease, you're pretty sure that it's gonna be Zika. Everybody knows about viruses, right? This is a cell. Okay, I'm gonna tell you how to protect yourself right now. Right now. Eat right. Get plenty of sleep. Exercise. Isn't that what the doctor tells you every time you go see? Build up your immune system. Why do you take vitamin C? Take a lot of vitamin C? It's to strengthen your cell wall. How many people ever seen uh, what a virus looks like? You've seen that Ebola one, right? It looks like this. They're like little uh, needles and they try and get through this cell wall. So if you strengthen your cell wall with vitamin C, well, I mean mega doses, mega doses of vitamin C, you just can't take a pill and say, hey, I'm good. Okay, mega doses is a, uh, take vitamin C up until you get diarrhea, then back off. Okay, that's a lot of vitamin C. But it will strengthen your cell wall. Drink lots of water. Why do you drink water? To put water in these cells. Your cells have to operate water. This thing right here, oh, by the way, this is a cell. That's your nuclei. Okay, this is where your DNA is located. DNA, very small. A virus is like that. You can screw up your DNA with a virus. Okay, that's how small they are. So know that it can't live unless it gets in there. If you don't let it in there, it dies off. I'm not talking any rocket science, right? Does everybody see how this is very survivable? Very doable? I took the mystery out of something that probably when you came in here, you said, eh, I'll do this, but if this happens, I'm just gonna kiss it goodbye. Right? It's not that.